Hello, everybody. Hey, it's Jeff Whitgren at the Zoom Test Kitchen. Get a lot of people inquiring about using Zoom OSC and Companion so that they can use a Stream Deck during their meeting management, event productions, and so forth. So I thought I would start at the beginning and just put together some short segments of how to uh, get this all built up. So we're going to start from the very beginning, making no assumptions that you've installed Companion or that you've installed Zoom OSC, and that's where we're beginning. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is bring up a browser and find bitfocus.io slash companion, and when you do, this is the page you'll land on. With that, if you've never been here before, click on sign up. I have been here before, so I'll click on sign in. And then we end up with a uh, choice for companion, companion on Raspberry Pi, companion satellite. Click on companion, click on the download button. And I'm going to focus on the new companion 3.0. Yes, it's still in beta, but it's pretty, pretty rich and mature. It's getting close. Don't know their exact release date on it, but uh, it's a significant rewrite over the stable release, which you should only go to production with that stable release, 2.4.2. So I would download the beta 3.0, build 5686 today. That'll probably change tomorrow. But uh, with that, I'm on a M1 Mac mini, so I'm going to download that Mac Apple Silicon, and we'll wait for that to download. And then we'll go ahead and launch that image file to get it installed. Okay, now that it has completed its download, we'll bring it up in Finder. We will double click on the image file. We'll click and drag Companion over to the Applications folder. I've done it once before. We'll, uh, we'll replace that so it's a nice fresh install there. And we'll close that. We can close the Downloads folder. And with that, uh, we want to actually we could have kept Finder open. We'll open up Finder again, bring it over here to applications, and we'll see that in fact Companion has been installed as an application. We'll double click on that. It says, hey, it's been downloaded from the internet. Is it safe? We'll say open. And this initial dialog is uh, is where you begin. So it has defaulted to my wired network's IP address, 192.168.12.21. You can change that if you desire. It knows all your interfaces, including the local host at 127.001, <clears throat> which is fine as long as everything's happening in the same machine. If not, if it needs to go across the network, then you'll want to use your wired IP address. So tell it to launch the GUI. It welcomes you to that first arrival. And it will in a uh, auto launch this configuration wizard as well. So it says it wants to um, uh, recognize your Stream Deck surfaces and get your remote control preferences and so forth. So we'll drive our way through this. So USB surface detection. Uh, it uh, this is pretty pretty important. <clears throat> it says use companion natively requires Stream Deck software to be closed. And, and that I would personally recommend just use the companion software. If you have the Stream Deck app open already, and then you try to launch companion, you'll end up with issues. Um, the other thing is, is if you have multiple Stream Decks, if you uh, do companion only, they can all be on their own pages and, and uh, work in harmony that way. But you can, you can, in fact, with a plugin, if you enable it on the second radio button, you can use them in combination. I just, I just don't like that experience myself, so I don't recommend it. Uh, if you have X keys, you can enable, have them enabled. A loop deck, you can enable that, and I'll just leave that the way it is. There are some other protocols that uh, it can support, so I. In, in my system, I've, I've set all this up so it's kind of raw, uh, so there's not a lot going on there, so you can see what it's like the first time. But I do, in fact, take advantage of uh, TCP and UDP calls every once in a while, certainly the OSC, and um, you can alternately choose Rostock, uh, Ember, and Artnet as well. So it just really depends on how you're going to use this, but uh, that works for me. 
their admin GUI password. I'm going to bypass that for now, but I'm the only one in my office and so forth. So if you need to, go ahead and lock that down too. So it says just review the settings. It says the Stream Deck software must be closed for this to work. Just a reminder there. And I'll click Apply and I'll click Finish. And this is our start location. And you can you can take a look at your, you know, this emulation of a Stream Deck XL, but there's really, there's nothing there yet. You know, going into presets is really easy because you can just drag and drop. Our focus in particular is going to be Zoom OSC. So we want to go to the connections page here. It's empty. You don't have any yet, it says. So go over to the right side and search for Zoom. And here, select add and it will add that zoom osc iso module it defaults to that loopback address i prefer to put in my real address here 192 168 in my case 12.21 uh, it sends data packets out on the network on port 9090 and it receives any data packets destined for itself on port 1234. And so we're going to go ahead and leave that set up there. And now we have a module installed. In my case, I also operate vMix. I would add a vMix module and so forth so that uh, they can all work in harmony. So now when we go to the buttons page, we can get started on, you know, with going to like presets. It's like, well, what does Zoom OSC module provide us? All of a sudden, we've got all kinds of opportunity. Hey, I want to select from participants in a meeting. I want to select from the gallery in the meeting and uh, just all kinds of things that can be done. I'm not going to go there right now, but that's the basics of getting Companion installed and the module installed to Companion. And now you're well on your way. And uh, next, we will also take a look at Zoom OSC so that we have that installed on our system. So that will enable us to connect to meetings and start managing the pieces that we've built onto our Stream Decks via Companion. So with this, do a quick Google search for Zoom OSC. The first hit you're going to get back there returned is Zoom OSC Liminal Entertainment, which is the original developers of the Zoom OSC Zoom ISO solution. Zoom actually now owns them. And uh, with that, click on Download. Give a little bit of information of who you are, first name, last name, email. They'll send you an email with a link to follow. And when you do that, that link will take you here to the downloads page. So you can download for Windows. I'm going to download for Mac and make that happen. And then once we get that downloaded, we're going to install the Zoom OSC. And this is going to be the free basic version. This is a no cost as well. So Companion is a no cost solution. Zoom OSC Basic is a no cost solution and it will get us started for sure. I think with Zoom OSC, it's fair to say that you'll probably pretty quickly want to get into the paid subscription there. You know, one of the one of the most obvious ones up front is you can spotlight with Zoom OSC Basic, but you can't multi-spotlight. And that's usually pretty a, an essential advanced function uh, that uh, requires the subscription itself. So anyways, be prepared for that, but uh, we do have it downloaded. Mm -hmm. We can open it up, and when we do, we can simply drag Zoom OSC into the Applications folder, let it do its install, and with that, then we can take a look at the Applications folder, and in the Applications folder, you'll see that Zoom OSC is now installed. Double-click on it. Say OK to the Mac. Say it's safe. And this is the beginning of Zoom OSC. Zoom OSC is a little bit different, but in this sense, it's no different than the Zoom client application. You launch it, it says, you know, it gives you the choice, hey, you wanna start a meeting? Do you wanna join a meeting? Uh, you just say, same kind of thing here is, do you wanna join a meeting? Do you wanna sign in with your account and then at that point, you're able to start a meeting, join a meeting, schedule a meeting, and so forth. And uh, so it's a Zoom client. That's what Zoom OSC is. But it also has this engine, you know, where it says settings, behind the scenes where it keeps track of 
all the participants that are in that meeting. And as soon as you give this client, the host gives this client co-host uh, privileges, then all of a sudden you can start managing that Zoom meeting. So often I will have a launch on my PC that's in front of me that has vMix and the Zoom client on it. I'll launch the meeting, I'll host it. Then on my Mac, I'll launch Zoom OSC in Companion and I'll join this meeting. Me on the host will give co-host permissions to the Zoom OSC client and I have an entire management console in front of me. As people fall in, they end up on the stream deck and so forth. And I'll show you exactly how to create that as a solution next.